Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET4 and today I am going to show you uh, the next video tutorial of chatting app uh, that is covered in this uh, playlist that is online chatting app project in ASP.NET Core. Uh, here we have the first video that is online chatting uh, web API project in ASP.NET Core with the Angular front end as a front end with the Angular and the web API project is covered in the ASP.NET Core. So uh, in this uh, video tutorial, just I'm going to add a uh, web API project right here. So here we have a chat app and uh, the last video tutorial is covered application DB context class that is identity DB context class models that is application role application user application user likes application user roles message and the photos so here we have uh, some models related to your uh, uh, related to your sender and receivers and here we have a app settings file where your database is related to the sql server chat connection is the uh, connection string name so um, database name is chat app db like here now uh, in the last video tutorial actually uh, uh, actually at the end of the tutorial uh, is covered that is extension method so in this video tutorial just i'm going to start from just extension so just create a new extension method like application service extension identity service extension and many more so here we have a static class that is application service extension application service extension so uh, here we have a public static class public static class and here we have it, the name is application service extension method so this is the extension method we will cover uh, in this video tutorial the next class is related to identity service extension method so identity service extension so here we have also a static class okay so everything is fine so inside your application service extension class uh, you can add a new uh, extension method that is add application service add application service related to your service uh, configure service uh, section and in this uh, method in this uh, extension method you can add two parameter one is the i service collection that is return type uh, that is the extension type you can say and another um, uh, parameter that is i configuration with the config and you can say that service dot add db con uh, context i mean to say that register your uh, uh, connection string right here so application db context class where your connection string just pass through uh, here we have application db context class uh, right here in the base class you can say here we have okay so in the application service uh, uh, just remove the errors by using control dot key on your keyboard using chat app dot data now use sql server actually sql server is actually exist in microsoft dot uh, asp net core dot entity framework core so just control dot and use microsoft dot entity framework core so the problem is resolved and your chat connection is right here in the, uh, in the app setting projection file server dot uh, database is at chat app db so now let's save all these now the next step is going to add this extension method in your program.cs file so right here you can add this uh, builder dot services dot here you you can say that the services is looking like that your i service collection Right here so you can just call by using services add application service so in the program.cs file you can use add application service inside it in you, uh, you can just pass the single parameter that is i configuration so uh, right here you can add configuration so builder dot configuration Okay, just you can pass it builder dot configuration so just resolve control dot key using chat app dot extension right here so everything is uh, okay now the next thing you can do with the auto mapper because in the nuget package in the chat app you can add a new uh, manage nuget packages and you can see in the installed package that is 
uh, auto mapper identity model dot token swash buckle dot asp net core uh, jwt uh, cloudnary dot net and the next one is auto mapper dot extension dot microsoft dependency injection so uh, right here you can just go for the profile section and add some profile information right here to use auto mapper now after that you have to add uh, a new file a new class file that is the mapper profile so uh, just you have to add a new folder that is utility folder inside in the chat app that is add a new folder and the folder name is utility inside the utility folder you just add a new class file that is the mapper profile that mapper profile is actually convert that model to view model and mod view model to model so uh, basically mm, must to add a auto mapper profile so uh, here we have mapper profile now the mapper profile class is actually inherited with the profile class so here we have and the profile is actually exist in auto mapper so using auto mapper you can just add it now uh, mapper profile so here we have just add a new constructor so map profile right here now in the application service extension you just add this map profile right here by using this line of code services uh, dot add auto mapper type of mapper profile and actually mapper profile is existing in chat app dot utility so here we have services dot add auto mapper type of mapper profile dot assembly by uh, using line of this code you can just use mapper profile now the next thing you can do user registration so just create a new v model class for the application user class for registering your new user if you are seeing any uh, app uh, that is connected with your clients or you can say that uh, uh, any app uh, that use chatting and uh, you can say that uh, chatting between the two users so uh, before chatting uh, both users must to enroll into the sites by using the authentication scheme so uh, here you can say that uh, uh, authentication process is required so for the authentication process you must to use registration so uh, in the view model section you just add register view model so here we have view models so in the view model section here you can add register view model the name name of the class is register view model in the register view model class here you can just add this that line of code it's, uh, register view model and you just add the line of code so uh, here you can say that public class register view model so just add these properties right here like required email and resolve the uh, namespace problem using system dot component model dot data notations by using control and dot key of your keyboard so just select it required email password city country gender date of birth so these properties are required properties and just entered by the user any user that is sender and the receiver both so here we have so when user entered these proper uh, these uh, these property into the database table by using the ui interface of the angular by using email password city country gender and date of birth then uh, just return that uh, some fields uh, to the back of the angular uh, to the user that is register dto so here we have the new view model just add a new view model uh, that is a new class register dto so here we have register dto and in the register dto class here you can say add three properties email token and gender so token is required inside the token you can just say that uh, in that token we have some claims like email role etc so a uh, token is actually uh, a, a jwt token so uh, this tutorial actually cover the token also 
so a uh, token is actually jwt token so in the jwt token we have some uh, some special things like name of the user username of the user email roles claim etc so uh, lots of things actually available inside the token so just uh, pass that token to the uh, client back and uh, token is actually validation key by using the token you just access into the websites and also play the role for the website so just create a token for this website so uh, here we have in the solution explorer uh, just add a new token service class uh, folder so right here you just add a new folder that is services inside the service folder you just add a new interface that is itoken service and that is interface name itoken service okay so by using the itoken service here we have a public interface itoken service you just add this line of code in the token service task string that is written uh, actually string of type uh, thing and just get token async and here we have application user and we know that application user is actually existing in the application user in the model class so just use token use chat app dot models okay now after that you can implement that i token service in the token service class so service add a new class and here you can say token token service class and that class is actually implemented by i token service okay now i token service implement that interface like uh, task of the type of string and get token async okay so make this asynchronous of this method now after imp uh, after that you have to implement that uh, get token async by using this line of code so here we have a already have some codes for the token so uh, token service is actually implemented by the user manager and the symmetric security key so user manager is actually create a new user add to role uh, to the user so user manager is actually existing in the microsoft asp.net core.identity and secu uh, symmetric security key is actually exist thing in the microsoft identity <laughs> model dot token sorry and in the uh, encoding utf8 dot get byte token and actually token is where so just uh, encoding with the token service so here we have and just add uh, get token async application user so here we have a list of claims so one by one i want to add a claim by using system dot security dot claims so here we have and in the claims you can just add by using the jwt registered claim names dot name id dot unique name dot email etc so uh, here we have using system dot identity model dot token dot jwt so application user dot id application user dot unique name that is username in the role section you have to add user manager dot get role async application user so just add it into the claims claims dot add range roles dot select roles new claims claims type dot role dot role okay so here we have some codes of a line of code and by using this line of code you just get and create a token service for the chatting app so now this is the uh, very nice video tutorial for your chatting app and later video tutorial just i want to implement a user account a user account service uh, for just create a new controller that is accounts controller and add it here like uh, register view model when user fill these entries like email password city country and gender that uh, token will be written back to the client by using register dto class that is email token and gender so wait for some time so i will implement that uh, uh, accounts controller in the controller section so add a new controller and the controller name is accounts controller so empty controller and here we have api controller right here so api controller empty and the controller name is accounts controller
okay so the controller is actually implemented by the controller based class that is mint that is api controller so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which are related to usp.net core